White rocks are a familiar sight on Earth, often composed of the common mineral quartz, but white rocks on Mars are rare, and quartz has never been observed by any rover. Now, Perseverance may have found some on this episode of Mars Guy. We last left Perseverance inspecting some notably mangled rocks on the rim of Jezero Crater that may be the literal fallout of the cataclysmic impact event that created it nearly 4 billion years ago. This week, Perseverance moved on in a totally unexpected direction, heading back downslope for about 62 meters in the opposite direction of its long-term destination at the top of the crater rim. Here's the view looking back at that drive, and here's Mars Guy for scale. Note how neat and orderly the wheel tracks appear when Perseverance is not struggling up slope. Out front is the feature that apparently drew the team's attention from a distance, a field of notably white rocks. On Earth, your eye might be drawn to such bright rocks just enough to take a second look. On Mars, this is a freak show worthy of turning a rover around for a full inspection. On a planet dominated by basaltic lava and rocks derived from it, white rocks are exceedingly rare and potentially important science targets. This one was the first to draw the eye of Mascam Z. The ubiquitous iron oxide rich dust of Mars provides a reddish tint in places. There are shiny surfaces with enough sun glint that they're overexposed in this shot. The telescope on Supercam got a closer look as seen in this mosaic of three shots. This view nicely highlights the highlights, showing the rock to have shiny surfaces that make it look wet which certainly is not true in this absolutely dry and cold desert environment. The team next turned its attention and the rover to the drab gray rocks that host the white ones. This positioned Perseverance over a large and stable enough one for an investigation with the robotic arm-mounted instruments. First up was the Watson camera after the gas dust removal tool blew away some of the dust. Ignoring the pockets of trap dust, you can see that the gray surfaces appear speckled. This is a rock texture unlike any seen before by Perseverance. It resembles that of impact breccia, which forms from the fallout of material produced by a crater impact event. While the arm was busy on the gray rock, another white rock just off the right rear wheel of Perseverance was scoped out by Mascam Z and Supercam. This one shows even more shiny, glinting surface area. The view from Supercam shows the prominent wet look produced by the solar glints, which here make it look like the material is somewhat translucent. Along with subtle lineations that look like fractures, this rock looks a lot like a piece of milky quartz on Earth. An obvious difference is the yellowish hue produced from dust in the Martian atmosphere. Adding a blue tint like that produced by skies on Earth makes it look more similar. There are other white rock candidate materials like these pieces of gypsum veins from the Valle de Marte, the Valley of Mars in Chile, but they tend to have a platy cleavage unlike the white rocks observed by Perseverance. Carbonates are another candidate like this piece of calcite, which is a calcium carbonate. Visual appearance alone can't be used to identify the composition of most rocks, which is why Perseverance has instruments that can. It's likely that the laser zaps used by Supercam to identify elements present in a rock have already provided that information. So, until ground control provides more information on these most peculiar rocks, there's nothing I can do to better explain them. 